You can use this to disinfect cuts and stuff. It foams when you put it on. Pork liver. This was in the cafe's fridge. Got to do something with it before it goes bad. I think this is going to produce oxygen according to the textbook anyway. But what good is oxygen on its own? Okay, so yeah, it definitely is related to the fire thing somehow. So what was down here? That door doesn't do anything. There's just a wall there. I'm trying to like kick them when they're down, but she's a little bit slow to react sometimes. Is that a lighter? Oh, it's a matchbook, just as good. All right, reload the handgun. No more cigarettes for me, I quit for good. Hold up, isn't Heather supposed to still be like 17? I, mean, I guess to be fair, that really doesn't mean much. In all fairness, I've had alcohol before I was 21, so I mean... Oh, but now that I got the matchboxes, uh, maybe we can actually burn those pictures now. Oh, but it seems like I have to take this long way to get there. Alright, so it seems like those pig things will just like play dead essentially. So let's see if, uh, use some health. The pitcher would burn, sure, but the match, isn't there anything to make it stronger? Oh yeah, so let's combine these together then. What am I supposed to do with this? Uh, I mean, you know. Use it to make the flame stronger. This was in some company's conference. Uh, bleh, fuck. I'm having a hard time reading now. This was in some company's conference room. Looks like it was used to light someone's cigarettes. Used to disinfect cuts and stuff. Put it on foam. What am I supposed to do with this? So, do I perhaps need, like, a... I'm wondering if I need, like, another item in order to, like, I don't know, increase the oxygen, I guess. Okay. 
Yeah, I still need something else. Alright, well... Back to exploring, I guess. Making sure you're dead this time. So I guess the last place to look is just up on the sixth floor. Unless there is a way for me to get past the monster already. My first initial thought was we had to like set the monster on fire, but it seems like we might just have to use like the pork to get past him or something and six doesn't work so yeah that must be the solution to that Close to I gotta get to use it though. Is this the monster from the book? If it is, and I don't want to watch myself, it'll gobble me up in no time. I can't tell where its mouth is though. Okay, so I gotta be missing out on something then. So, because this is the way out of the building, because she even just said it. Um, we've explored everything on the third floor. Or the second floor, not the third floor, because that's where we came from. Can't access the third floor, the four floors, everything's all locked. I may check the walkthrough for this one very briefly. See what it is we gotta do. Man, this walkthrough is pretty long. All right, already got past the underpass. Construction site, we've got past the construction site. All right, the nightmare building. Um, ch -ch -ch. So gonna read the chemistry book. Mindful of slurpers and doubleheads. I love those fucking names. For fifth floor fine arts gallery, a uh, gallery. Um. Ch -ch -ch. You may remember the junior high school chemistry book over in the Green Ridge only appears on easy and normal mention. Uh, mention something relevant about this. 
On normal, it only provides a hint, while on easy, it spells out that the oxidol can be poured onto grated vegetables or liver to create a fire burn. Okay, so that's easy enough. Uh, it looks like we need to probably combine all three of those items. I was going to say, because I know this game has, like, some crazy combinations. Because I know Silent Hill 2 has that, like, uh, we need to get the wax doll, the, like, lighter in the horseshoe or something. In order to, like, open up that hatch. I'm sure this game will be easy to speedrun once we get used to it for, like, doing the trophies and stuff. It's just like I said before, I just feel like this one is probably one of the harder in the series, just because of, like, it's a very linear game. And you're constantly, like, moving through new environments and stuff. Oh, what the fuck? It's a photo of a mouth and a bunch of ears. Someone's been hanged. They look dead all right. God damn it. I didn't get to see what the rest of the shit she said was. Oh, this must be the rest of the book. Uh, what might this be? The rest of that fairy tale I read earlier. The priestess accepted the king's request and went to the village gates, but when she saw the monster, she tried to convince it with words instead of killing it. Shut up, you. I'm going to eat you up. The monster didn't listen to a word the priestess had said, but she kept trying to convince the monster to give up. It's wrong to eat people, you know. The monster grew very angry at this and attacked her, killing her with a single mighty blow. Well, uh, that did nothing. There's a third one? I fucking hate enemies that just knock you over. Oh, well, it looks like the shotgun's finally empty. Oh, I guess we're on the fourth floor now, though. I take it these things are what they're calling the slurpers. Mm -hmm. 
thought I could see a first aid kit back there. Here's something, but I can't see it. Oh, it's a dog. It's got like horse teeth. Silver coins. Oh shit. I don't need any more coins. Fuck. Damn it. I missed out on literally all that dialogue again. God, I hate when the game does that. Uh, there are your standard coins and bills over here. Of course, it's not like money might uh, not come in handy. And it goes without saying that it would be nice to have. But I think I'll pass on it anyways. Just a plain old vending machine. This one is selling canned drinks. Come to think of it, I am kind of thirsty. I'd feel weird drinking anything sold in a place like this, though. Oh, I mean, we got a coin. I can't think of anything else to use it for. Life insurance key. There's something written on the wall. Uh, Thus one's life turned to riches. What was a bag of silver coins is now a number in a book. Yet faith have no price. Ah, but do people know this? Uh, no. I'm assuming they don't. Alright, so I guess we got some life insurance. We got the Geico key. Uh, I bought this from the vending machine. It looks real enough. So life insurance. Where is that going to be? There was a locked door somewhere else. Um, so the doors on the fourth floor are unlocked. We unlocked those. Ah, life insurance. So something on the first... I think once we get to like the next save point in the game, 
I might honestly just call it quits for the night because I'm starting to get pretty tired. And I still got work tomorrow and potentially Saturday. But just judging by the workflow at work and how everyone's been kind of reacting to it, they definitely said to make sure that uh, you kind of prepare for it. Anticipate that you're going to have to work it. Which sucks, but there's nothing I can really do about it. Oh, wait, is that door? Oh, that one's crossed out. Also gonna be doing some shopping tomorrow anyways. I need to work on getting some like Christmas stuff tackled out. I can't fucking hit him with a fast attack because he's on the ground. There, fuck you, buddy. It's a good thing they do nothing for damage, probably only because I got the vest on. I probably should just stick with melee for a while. I have plenty of health items and I'm gonna need the ammo for like boss fights and shit eventually. So I really should be saving up on them. It's just it's more fun to shoot things. The end of that fairy tale. Uh, the king and his people shed tears at the death of the kind priestess. God took pity upon them and granting their wish healed the priestess. The priestess opened her eyes just as she had done every morning of her life. She went once more to the monster's lair. Fool, you wish to die again? No, this time it's your turn. The priestess had come to defeat the monster once and for all. As the priestess was very, very kind, she felt sad about this task, but it had to be done. Swords and spears won't work. Arrows and bullets, Arrows and bullets will just bounce off. You can't kill me. The monster laughed, but the priestess used neither sword nor spear. She chanted but a single spell. Tu fu ego ears. Do you know what happened then? The monster let out a huge cry and then died and vanished. Thus the villagers were able to use their gate once more. Every, uh, everyone lavished their gratitude upon the priestess and they all lived happily ever after. Two fully eco heiress? Weird writing. <gasps> what was that? Okay, I still got my sword. I thought she might have put it away by accident. The sword does look pretty cool, though. I'm just outside. I 
I still feel like I'm kind of scraping by for, like, ammo and shit in this one. There's not nearly as much, like, drops as the other games. Which isn't a bad thing. I don't want to sound like I'm shitting on the game or something. Because it is kind of crazy sometimes, especially the first game. How much ammo and stuff I felt like you could have. I guess I just kind of gotten so used to, like, just having an infinite amount of bullets. I don't have anything else to do in this building. I have to get home. And we don't have a map, so it's probably just moving along down the street until we find wherever home is. I feel like that's where I'm supposed to go, but I want to keep searching around. Also, what kind of shit town do they live in where everything's just going under construction like 24-7? I don't know if this is like an effect of Silent Hill or something or like if all these buildings are just constantly being worked on. I think before I hop off, too, I might check out some of the trophies in this game again. Oops, that's room 102. That's the one where uh, we have the key for. It's just a dust chute. Nothing to worry about. That's not my place. Actually, I probably should in case there's something else to check out. Could be like some sort of secret item or something. I don't need to use the elevator. My apartment number is 102 on the ground floor. Alright, I guess I'm assuming that after we go to this room, it's probably going to turn back into like the other side again or something. That's not my place? What do you mean? It's 102. Your key literally says 102 right on it. And this is the ground floor. How the fuck is it not your place? Okay, well I guess Heather just can't read. What's this doing here? That really pisses me off. It's like someone spit on your sacred place. Looking at that makes my head hurt. What does it mean? Alright, well I guess we'll have to find out about the, uh, about the apartment next time. Because, like I said, next time we found a save point, I was gonna, I was gonna do that.